John Enola. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, I too just want to pause at the beginning of my contribution on this bill to acknowledge Merv Hancock, QSO. Uh, Merv, um, as has been said, was a, as a city councillor in Palmerston North, but is most widely known across New Zealand as the pioneer uh, of modern social work. He was instrumental uh, in setting up the Bachelor of Social Work degree at Massey in 1975. Um, and beyond that, uh, throughout the community of Palmerston North, was also instrumental in establishing Methodist social services, birthright, marriage guidance, the Parents Centre, uh, the National Society of Alcohol and Drug Service, and many, many others. Uh, it was, uh, I think, something about the man who was incredibly humble, incredibly approachable. Um, I know he um, was always prepared to give me some wise advice from time to time. Uh, but his humility, his humility was uh, incredible. And in fact, actually, when uh, the community house was uh, named after him in Palmerston North, uh, I remember taking a considerable amount of time to actually have to talk him into it. He was a great man uh, who will be well remembered for many years uh, to come. Ki toku hoa haere, haere, haere atura. Mr Speaker, uh, this social security legislation rewrite bill uh, it's a pretty substantial kind of a document, considering um, that it's all 700 pages of it sitting in front of me. Haven't had the chance to read all of it just yet. Is it 700 pages? Oh, no, 446, sorry. Um, I haven't had the chance to read it all yet. Looking forward to it as we go through. Um, but, uh, but if this is the simplified version, you can only be quite grateful that we are simplifying it down from what we did have before. We've had a number of speakers talk about the gazillion different versions there's been and amendments over the time. Uh, so it's important for us. Uh, a rewrite was clearly needed and on the cards, and so that's what has been done. Mr Speaker, I just in my brief contribution want to pick up on a couple of the provisions that have been uh, um, sort of highlighted, um, at least in the bill's digest, if not uh, me being able to digest the whole bill as such yet. And, Mr Speaker, in particular, I want to focus firstly on the renaming of the emergency benefit to the exceptional circumstances benefit. And I think this, uh, while people will say what is in words, I think there's something incredibly important about that. Because if you find yourself in exceptional circumstances, and you um, become, start to become accustomed, unfortunately, to those exceptional circumstances, you may not see it as an emergency. And I think it's really important that for those people who desperately, sorry, Mr. Speaker, I didn't mean to refer to you. Um, if people were to find themselves in exceptional circumstances, uh, uh, we want to make sure that we can break down some of those barriers for them to be able to enable to uh, access, for them to be able to access the things that they um, are entitled to. And I think this is a really good um, initiative. And just, just that little tweak of a word, I think, is clearly really, really important. Um, just what I do want to touch on over the last couple of speakers have been very critical of the investment approach, which is, again, one of the underlying principles that goes into this rewrite uh, of the social security legislation. And I find it quite bizarre that there's been this opposition to an investment approach. Because, it's, um, because if you've got, if you look at the fact that 18 and 19 year olds, what we know, somebody under, under the age of 20 is on, going on a benefit in New Zealand, the average time that at the moment they can expect to be on that benefit is 13 years. Now, I don't know about you, but I reckon it's worth investing in some of those young people, not just simply so that the taxpayers can save some money over time by not paying the benefits for 13 years, but let's actually invest in them to ensure that they get the best possible outcomes. We've seen that with the young person's uh, uh, benefit, the, teen, the young parent's benefit um, uh, that's been, uh, been paid, the work that's being done with the youth services and investing in those young people, we're going to see some really good results over time. So if we don't actually take that investment approach, we're clearly just going to say, we're just prepared to sit back and see uh, what happens. Mr Speaker, this is um, some good principles that are involved in this bill. I'm quite convinced that we're going to see uh, more positive things happen for people in New Zealand. Um, it was overdue to get this bill uh, rewritten, clearly. Um, that's what has been done. I'm looking forward to it coming to the Select Committee so we can discuss some of these things um, uh, with, with, with in greater detail. Um, but at a first reading, Mr Speaker, clearly happy to support it and think we'll see some great results uh, in years to come. Thank you.